is Danny from Conscious Calisthenics. So as we've been seeing for quite some months now, there's been so many vegan YouTubers and other vegans that have been quitting the vegan diets and going back to meat-based diets and other diets that have so many animal-based foods in. So this video is gonna be the best video on YouTube to teach you how to thrive on a vegan diet and it's a step-by-step -step guide. And this is gonna be the most serious video on this subject as well. But before we get onto that, I wanna do the serious dance to really kickstart this serious video. So now I've got the serious dance out of my system. What I want to first say is there's going to be eight different steps that you will want to follow consistently and to a T that I'm going to explain to you in this video. Because if you do not, you're not going to thrive on a vegan diet. And so many people say they don't thrive on a vegan diet due to not doing these things correctly and consistently. So that's something to be massively aware of. So number one is make sure that you eat the most highly restrictive vegan diet such as a fruitarian diet because the more restrictive the vegan diet is, the more likelihood you have of getting all of the vitamins, minerals, essential fatty acids, amino acids and other different nutrients that you need to be getting from your food to actually thrive on a vegan diet. And if that doesn't work, you need to fast to resolve any health issues or symptoms or if you have digestive issues going on because water fasting is the only thing that you need to heal any health issues and symptoms. And as I learned from many teachers time and time again that are these experts you can say on water fasting. Was she consuming enough magnesium? Absolutely. She was consuming it, it was going into the pie hole, but it wasn't getting to the cell. So there's a good example. Now I finally convinced her, it took me a month to convince her to come, she did. She stopped taking the supplement, began fasting, immediately began to have magnesium deficiency symptoms. But within, I don't remember now exactly, 10 to 14 days, those symptoms were gone. They say that you don't need supplements or food to correct any nutritional deficiencies. All you need to do is water fast and free up those nutrients within the body that your body's lacking so then your body can absorb them and then it will correct any nutritional deficiencies that you can have. And if you don't know already, water fasting just helps you tap into God. And when you tap into God, you're tapping into his healing energy through water fasting and then it's gonna heal any health issues and symptoms that you have. Number two, combine your highly restrictive vegan diet with calorie restriction. So don't try and eat more than 1,000 to 1,500 calories because by significantly reducing your calorie intake, you're gonna get a much lower intake of macro and micronutrients, which is key for healing any health issue or symptom that you've got going on that is connected to so-called nutritional deficiency because you don't need to get the nutrients from food. All you need to do, as I mentioned earlier on, is water fast if you have nutritional deficiencies. Number three, do loads of extended water fast to resolve any health issues and symptoms that you have on a vegan diet because all we need, but you need to make sure it's a really long fast, anywhere from 10 to 35 days. And you should know that we don't need anything outside of ourselves to heal us. So water fasting is one of those specific things. And remember, so many of our health issues that may come up on a vegan diet and making us not thrive on a vegan diet is due to toxicity. And water fasting is known to be one of the things to purge those toxins out of you. So that is another reason why water fasting is one of the best things to heal you on a vegan diet. So you can thrive on it short term and long term as well. And you need to remember we've from birth just consumed so many different toxic foods and liquids and we've come into contact with so many environmental pollutants. So we just have so much toxicity within us. So we need to be doing consistent long water fasts such as 10 to 35 day ones 
throughout the year because we've got all those toxic substances in that have been there throughout our whole life and we're always coming into contact with new ones as well so it's all about cleansing 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 detoxifying detoxifying purging 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 to get them out so you can have the best health possible number four which so many people just don't do this whatsoever and this is a very important one you need to learn from influential vegan youtubers more specifically vegan youtubers that have been on a raw vegan diet to learn your nutrition and dietary information on how to thrive on a vegan diet even though they're not necessarily thriving on a vegan diet and a lot of them are not necessarily even on a vegan diet anymore and the reason why is because all of the information they share is based on ideologies and their dogmatic views and they have learnt their information from other raw fooders out there such as raw food teachers that base none of their nutrition or dietary information on science whatsoever so yeah it seems like you definitely want to trust people like that and listen to them it just makes sense to me does it make sense to you because it definitely makes sense to me or maybe i'm just wrong who knows? And it's really good that they don't base any of the information on science because most of the time science is wrong, it's really, really flawed. We didn't have science in our natural environment at all. So why do we need it now? It's not something that we need to rely on at all. It's just garbage science-based information that's not helpful or effective for anyone to thrive on a vegan diet. Number five, and this is a really important one. Do not take help or advice from any vegan certified nutritionists or vegan doctors because what's going to happen when you go to them they are going to say to you that you need to take these unnatural man-made supplements that are not healthy or good for us whatsoever and we didn't have supplements in our natural environment so why would we need to rely on supplements now to thrive on a vegan diet and what they also do as well is they will try and get you to do complex tests all these different ones that labs and scientists are going to do for you and it's just over complicating the whole situation to actually thrive on a vegan diet and again you wouldn't find that in our natural environment so why are we just going to do something that we wouldn't have in a natural environment it just doesn't make sense at all even though we live in this world where we're not in a natural environment anymore and the food is way different to what it used to be way back when and instead of making it so complicated i just prefer to water fast and I recommend that to everyone because like i said it just heals any health issue or symptom that you have and it's what god provided us with and he wanted us to use it so we need to be listening to god and what he provided us with because he knows what is best for us number six and this is something you need to be aware of if you've done all the other steps consistently and you're still not thriving on a vegan diet so if you are not thriving on a highly restrictive vegan diet like i mentioned in some of the early steps you need to be doing then you are obviously still very highly toxic and you haven't got all of the toxic substances which is one of the main reasons as to why you've got health issues and symptoms on a vegan diet so there is a very very easy simple solution that requires no tests no health experts you don't need to look into any scientific research at all I've never ever ever been the person to research and research and research before doing something so i want to make it very very loud and clear that I am still learning that this is just my personal experience and I am not a professional and I am not telling you how to live, how to eat, how to be. And that is to do more water fasting, but what you need to be doing is actually fasting on water only for around 40 to 100 days because these really, really long fasts are one of the safest type of fast to do which is just gonna strip down your muscles, your body weight, and really purge out all of the toxins as much as your body can naturally do on its own. So I definitely recommend this for people time and time again. And make sure you don't do this supervised at all. You just do it at home on your own and just hope that it works out for the best. Because yeah, I did mention about fasting in step one and I've mentioned it in some other steps, but yeah. If the shorter fasts aren't working for you around 10 to 25 days, then you definitely need to go in the direction of doing a, such a long type of fast, anywhere from the 40 to 100 day length range. And number seven, what I just mentioned still may not work with some people because we're all different. And what may work for one people may not work 
for someone else. So what you want to do is switch from your highly restrictive diet to even more restrictive diet. So you could go on a mono island diet, such as only eating bananas for around 30, 40 or 50 days, or you could do a watermelon only fast for around 60 days, or switch to some type of like high carb vegan, no protein, no fat, magical vegan diet that is just gonna help you go in the direction of resolving any health issues or symptoms that you've got on a vegan diet that's making you not thrive on a vegan diet. Because the more restrictive it is, the higher chance you have of healing your health issues and symptoms. Number eight, which is the most valuable, important information to share with me, but please don't go and share this with the world. This is something that I learned from some special people outside of myself. They live in a secret society and they don't really like people to hear about this, especially in the Western world, especially on YouTube. So this is something that you're never gonna have heard of before. And this is just what I call going into God mode. So this is very simple. What you wanna do is abstain from all liquids and food completely, which is known as a dry fast. And what you wanna do is actually do anywhere from a 60 to 365 day dry fast. Yes, you heard me right, 60 to 365 dry fast, which is extremely safe to do, especially if you do it unsupervised in the comfort of your own home. You just make sure you do enough research on it and make sure you're gentle with yourself, don't get yourself to work too much. And the reason being is this is an amazing ancient hack that many people are unaware of. And what it does is when you do this, it turns you into God himself so you can shine his light bright through all of your chakras, which will eliminate any demons or entities or toxins that you have remaining within your body that have a negative effect on your health. And by shining that light throughout your own personal light body, it is 100% guaranteed, money back guarantee I will give you to get you to start thriving on a vegan diet so you can definitely not go in the direction of eating any animal foods and harming them in the process of eating the certain animal-based foods that a lot of people consume in today's world. And the reality is, which a lot of people have just not got a high enough level of consciousness or awareness for this, and a lot of people share it with them and they just look at me like I'm absolutely crazy. Maybe I'm crazy? What do you think? Maybe I should go to a psychiatrist and find out. But yeah, anyway. The reality of it is we don't need food or liquids at all because we can just live on divine prana, which is just all around us. And a lot of us have just forgot how to tap into that. So it's just about tapping back into that. So yeah, this is my own personal eight steps in this step-by-step -step guide on how to thrive on a vegan diet. Like I said, it's the most serious video on this topic. So yeah. No one no longer needs to quit a vegan diet. As long as they follow what I'm doing consistently. If they don't, then they're absolutely screwed. And that's their own fault. But yeah, I hope they find this because I care about the animals, the environment, and my health. And I'm definitely not crazy at all. Like I said early on, I might be, but who knows. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely be posting more videos like this soon because the world needs more people like me in the world because we are the most sane people. A lot of people look like they're crazy. I'm a bit of a hermit. I do have some weird habits and some other things as well, and I'll share them with you because you're probably unsubscribing. You'll be like, what is this person going on about? But yeah, I'm going to end this video because yeah, it's a good time to end. And I need to take off in my light body into the ether to go and be with all the fairies and the angels. And so I can just be one with God. So yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like the video, like it down below. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. Please share this video with anyone else that you think needs to hear about this important information that I shared with you today in relation to thriving on a vegan diet. And if you haven't already, click the subscribe button down below to receive a lot more serious videos from me on a regular basis, such as this one and some others that I've made in the past on this channel. So this is the type of video saying good to you. Make sure you click the subscribe button down below, you click the bell notification button. Otherwise, God is gonna frown upon you and not give you everything you want and scorn you. So make sure you do it, because God is watching you. So yeah, as always, stay happy, stay godly, stay cleanly, and enjoy the rest of your magical, fantastic, beautiful, very sprinkled dust day. Woo!